Minecraft 1.7 is going to allow server admins to add a 64 by 64 server logo to their directory, which will show up now whenever someone has their server saved in their favorites. So in my case, I've set up a little test server for one of the snapshots, and I've added this, this image to the directory, and now when I try to log on to it, it shows Beefcraft. Uh, which is the the uh, server icon that I've created. And then it shows my description, which also can now be two lines long. So if you want to add your own, or at least create your own server icon in preparation for the release of 1.7, you can first off use either Paint, uh, Photoshop, or GIMP, or any other um, editing program where you can basically create an image for yourself. Uh, GIMP is a free tool that kind of is basically the free version of Photoshop. It's still in development so it's not quite as, as intuitive as Photoshop. Once you've created your 64 by 64 pixel image, which I have done here already, you want to name it server icon, or sorry, server dash icon and then make sure it's a .png when you're saving the file after you you create it, make sure you do save it as that because it won't work as a JPEG or any other image type. Um, then what you want to do is let me go ahead and stop this server. I have basically a 13w42a snapshot server going on, and what I've done is I've added a copy of that server icon to the uh, main directory. So basically, I've just copied and pasted right in where all the, all the other files are and that's how it recognizes it that's it as long as it's that name and it's a PNG and it's 64 by 64 when you start the server and attempt to log on it'll show you your logo and that's that's pretty much it that's all you have to do um, for those of you who have hosted um, Hosted servers, you're probably going to want to go into your FTP access um, and then just go ahead and uh, upload the image there. I've seen people do it and it works that way too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and in preparation for 1.7 I'm going to go ahead and paste it into my actual server directory. That way when I drop in the craft bucket 1.7 jar I'll be ready to go, I won't have to do anything, and I'll have my server image. So yeah, that's all. If you guys have any questions or anything, just put them in the comments, and take care.